All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Real Life Fisherman. I'm um, getting ready to go halibut fishing, and I'm going to do trolling and live bait. So check out the video I'm going to post up of that. I just did a new halibut trolling rig video. So if you're interested in that, check that out. But right now I'm going to go over the live bait rig setup. I'm going to do a few different methods of rigging up for live bait. I do prefer trolling better. I like trolling. I'm just a, a troller in the fishing sense. <laughs> so... Uh, I, I just enjoy trolling, it's more action, you move around, you cover more water. Sometimes it's good to actually troll until you find fish and then you can stop and start live bait fishing. Halibut do move in school, so if there's one, there's probably more there. So you can either mark a waypoint on your fish finder, turn around, troll back through, or start live bait drifting. So. I'm gonna do a few different rigs. A traditional live bait rig that you can use for anything, for striper, halibut, you know, any kind of live bait kind of drift fishing. Then there are these pre-packaged leaders that I do like to use. I use that for my trolling rig, cut it and use that. You can check that out in the other video. But we also use them for live bait drifting, what they're intended for, and they work great. Also, I'm gonna make my own with a uh, three-way swivel and a dropper and a good sharp live bait hook. First off, I'm gonna go over the rig that I do cut up for the uh, trolling rig, and that's this one here. That ties to your main line off your rod, and what happens is you have this slider that the anchovy, once you hook him on to the sliding Chanel knot right here, you can pull this to size it up for the anchovy, whatever size you're using. If you get some big ones, you can slide it out, uh, hook that through the eye, and then you wanna hook this through the tail, your stinger hook, or just let it drift down. A lot of times it's just better to just let it drift down like that below the anchovy while he's swimming around so you don't injure it too much. You want him to swim. If he's not swimming, it's not live bait. And he ain't gonna be catching fish. So what you do is you hook your uh, cannonball weight or torpedo weight to this end, the snap swivel. And uh, you know, I like to use at least a three ounce to a six, even up to an eight, depending on the current and how fast you're drifting. Um, that's all going to play. You just want to make sure you can fill the bottom and keep that weight bouncing on the bottom, dragging the bottom. Uh, you don't want the anchovy dragging through the bottom and that's why the anchovy can swim, I don't know if you can see this, up and down with this slider up and down this main line here. So that's one rig that works really good. Then there's the other rig, which is basically the same thing, is you can get, it's the same setup, as, same thing, just without the stinger, uh, or that treble hook is what they call the stinger. So again, attach that to your main line, your cannonball weight here, and the anchovy can swim up and down on this main line with that slider there. And what you want to do, is you want to take, whenever you hook a live bait, you want to try it again, you want to keep it alive and alive as long as possible and kicking, swimming around. So you're gonna take the hook and you're gonna take it and go right up through its bottom jaw and right out through the nose. You don't want to go all the way up between the eyes, puncture its brain, kill it. Another way you can do it is to hook it just below the dorsal fin, right in the back, kind of go around the spine, not through the spine. Again, that'd kill it. So around through the spine, and it tries to swim up off the bottom. Two different ways you can hook your live bait. This is the same setup as the other one, just without the stinger or the treble hook that's behind it. Then the other method I'm gonna go over and actually tie up here is good for all live bait drifting. I do it in the river for striper and uh, it works great for halibut too. Is to use a three-way swivel. So you tie one end to your main line on your rod 
The other end will tie a, a leader with the fluorocarbon. We're gonna use 20 pound test and then we're gonna make a dropper down with just 14 pound test mono with a snap swivel on the bottom for a weight. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie that up right now. You want about, oh, a good three feet, maybe a little even more of a 20 pound test, fluoro, carbon. I like to use fluoro carbon, it doesn't float, it's lighter. So the fish can swim around, dragging that heavy monoline, trying to impede the action of the bait at all. So you want them as lively as possible. So tie that on. Always test your knots. Access off. Okay. And then you can tie any kind of knot you want on here. You want to take the time, but I have caught plenty of fish just tying a standard groove clinch knot straight to the hook. Hate if you want but we catch fish. Just keeping it real. crazy you just want to uh, be able to snap the weight off if you do snag up and you want to check bottom always when you're halibut fishing uh, you want to be checking the bottom make sure your weight is bouncing bottom not dragging bottom not just off the bottom but bouncing on the bottom Tie this right to our line. Main line. I do like to use braid on my main line for halibut. I will use mono leaders and fluorocarbon leaders, but I do run braid. 30 to 50 pound braid. Here it is. Hard to tie. when you're doing braid over mono.
get some braid scissors when you cut braid. Okay. So that's our rig for the three-way rig for drifting live bait. So we're gonna run that and the other one. We're gonna see which catches more fish. A little experiment I'm gonna try. Let's set this one out of the way. And tie up the other one with the stinger. I wanna know which one's gonna catch more fish. I usually run one or the other, but I'm gonna do an experiment this trip and we're gonna see which one is better. Alright, that one's done. That one's done. Okay guys, thanks for watching. That's my live bait setup for halibut fishing in San Francisco Bay. So now they have live bait in San Francisco. We're gonna head over there, pick up some live bait, do some live bait drifting, and then we're gonna head out and do some trolling. See which one produces more fish. I got a new trolling rig I'm gonna set up. You can watch that video if it's on the channel. And we're gonna see how we do. Hit the subscribe button. And if you like these videos, I'll keep more coming. Get out there, get fishing, have fun, and as always, keep it real.